Thanks for swinging by the channel, taking the time to watch another review. Uh, tonight, I'm going to feature one out of uh, Rocket Biz Soda. This here, well, you see it. You know who he is. This here is the Mighty Mouse Blue Soda, Blue Cream Soda. Now, this here, just just look at it, man. Just, just And ladies, ladies and gentlemen, men and women, whoever's watching, check that out. We all know who Mighty Mouse is. At some point, we probably watched him in our childhood or in our lifetime. Um, so this here is one from Rocket Fizz, and they do a lot of the novelty uh, drinks that I feature here on the channel. No exception right here. I'm a fan of cream soda. I'm a fan of blue cream soda. I'm a fan of, uh, of Mighty Mouse there, so I figured, what the heck, man? Everything kind of comes together with this one here. So let's read a little bit about Mighty Mouse. So Mighty Mouse founded in 1942, I believe, is when he uh, made his first um, animated short. It was actually called, uh, let's see here, what was he called? It was called Super Mouse. So Super Mouse, when he first debuted, two years later, 1944, uh, that name was changed and he was kind of uh, redesigned a little bit and he became Mighty Mouse and he's been known as that ever since then. Now, I didn't know this, but I guess he's had uh, eight animated short films over the years. I believe it was eight. And numerous, um, numerous different uh, cartoon series uh, over the decades. I believe the, the last ended in the uh, late uh, 1980s. And me, growing up uh, as a child in the 70s and teen years in the, the 80s, um, yeah, I remember Mighty Mouse, you know, I remember watching his cartoon, you know, Mighty Mouse, um, actually says right there, theme song, Here I Come to Save the Day, remember that, Mighty Mouse is on the way, and that was from Golden Records, it's actually right there if you're interested in checking out the tune there. Uh, let's see here, there is a little, like, uh, I guess this was probably a synopsis about it back in the day. It says, cats of the city have imposed a reign of terror on the rodent community. The mice have barely a chance to live in peace with endless traps and clever feline footwork sealing their doom. One mouse manages to escape from a particularly hungry cat and runs for shelter into an enormous supermarket. He examines the goods on the long lines of shelves and sets to work on a total transformation. He bathes in super soup, or sorry, super soap, swallows super soup, munches super celery, and plunges head first into an enormous piece of super cheese. He emerges as Super Mouse, later changed to Mighty Mouse. So, very interesting. Read up on that, very interesting. It's one of those, uh, just, you're like, never thought about the history of Mighty Mouse, really. Um, you know, and, and so I've seen this drink, I kind of just forgot all about, all about Mighty Mouse. So what am I going to use here? Well, I don't have a Superman glass. Well, I don't have a Mighty Mouse glass, and I don't have a Superman glass. I do have a Superman shot glass. So I'm going to use the next best thing, 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 next best thing, which is my, uh, my Batman uh, glass. This was a McDonald's collector series from the 1990s. I got three of them. I can't remember how many were actually in this set, but I have three of them. All right, so uh, just before I crack that open, you can see just the, the Rocket Fizz bottle cap on there, bottle cap on there. And you'd think I was drinking a bunch of stuff the way I'm uh, slurring over my words and fumbling there. A lot of nice carbonation release there. So I'm pouring it in a glass. It's not going to change the color or anything. I want to see if it's, yeah, we produced a little bit of foam up on top, make sure it wasn't flat or anything. And it'll open up... Uh, the opportunity for me to get um, some more aroma, uh, hopefully notes, aroma notes out of this thing. So yeah, just typical blue, um, just a blue, clear blue uh, cream soda carbonated beverage, right? I get hit, hints of like a raspberry. A raspberry, yet yeah, it's very much got that cream soda that like mapley, um, syrupy cream soda uh, vibe. It has all that with a hint of raspberry to it. So I'm gonna get a drink on this thing. 
Mm, not bad. So it's made with uh, pure cane sugar, I believe, as all the Rocket Fizz, or at least all of them that I've had has been. Hmm. So it's got that typical um, mapley cream soda uh, thing going on here with it. But um, as far as the strawberry to the, or strawberry, the blue or the raspberry, whatever uh, flavor it is they're going for. It's in the nose, but very mild. Um, I mean, it's there in the taste, but it's not like a, you know, like a raspberry or a, some type of a berried uh, cream soda or anything like that. But it tastes very much like a cream soda. So it is what it is. The novelty effect is, of course, the Mighty Mouse aspect to the to the drink here. So, hey, do I like it? Yeah, I don't hate it. Uh, is it the best cream soda or blue, blue cream soda I've had? Not even close, probably. But it's good. It's a nice little novelty thing. It'll, I'll throw it up on the shelf with my other uh, novelty um, soda bottles that I keep over there. Um, and it's, it's cool for that type of stuff. It's a cool thing to review. It's a cool thing to talk about, reminisce about uh, the old childhood days. And hey, you're new to the channel. I hope you like what you're seeing here and you become a subscriber. Um, if you are already a subscriber, Hey, I appreciate you watching. Appreciate you supporting the channel. Be sure to drop a comment. Hit that notification bell. Give the video a thumbs up. Like always, thanks for watching.